Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back on a video. Um, and today I want to talk about the Lakers. Um, this is going to be a quick little rant video. Um, because what well, we failed to secure Kyrie, and I believe we're just gonna keep almost the same exact team as we did last year, and well, we all saw how that went. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, Lakers. I've been Lakers fans for years. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, check out all of my Lakers videos. I talk about them all the time, and I hate them right now. And the reason is because of this guy, LeBron. Anthony Davis makes me probably like the most mad in Russ's contract. So the reason that LeBron has been making me mad um, is because he handpicked a couple of these players. Um, this old man here, who isn't, who hasn't done anything all year. Um, he had maybe one or two games where he actually did something. Um, this guy, injury prone, plays only two, plays two games to every ten games. Um, injury prone, ruined his development. Russ made Russ look like one of the worst players ever. It's it makes no sense. My thing is the Lakers are one of the most recognizable teams in all of sports, one of the most winning teams in all of sports. A LeBron, arguably uh, the best player in in the league, um, in my opinion, top three uh, of all time. Um, who wouldn't want to play with him? Who wouldn't want to play with? Anthony Davis, uh, one of the top five power forwards in the league, definitely top 20 ever. Who wouldn't want to play with that? Why don't you want to play with that? That's my question. What is what is up with the Lakers and what is our problem on not trying to get anyone? We need to replace these guys. Who is this guy? He needs to be gone. Same thing with Dwight Howard. Actually, man, Dwight Howard actually played more games and played better than it. Anthony Davis. Wayne Ellington. We don't need him. DJ Augustine. Get him out of here. Kent Bazemore. Get him out of here. Kendrick Nunn. Get him out of here. Stanley Johnson didn't do anything but halfway hustle with that weak-ass white t-shirt on. We need a whole roster overhaul, and the fact that we can't get one player on our team shows us something. It's simple, man. It's honestly simple. I believe what we have to do, get whatever we can out of this guy. I'm sorry, Russ, but you gotta go, man. I don't think he is the reason that we're losing games. I think that really I think that the reason that we're honestly losing games is because this guy can't stay on the damn floor. I think that the reason that we're losing games is because he wanted to play with his friends. I think that the reason that we're losing this game is because we think he is an important piece. I think the reason that we're losing games is because we think he is the future. Of course he had a few games where he went crazy. So did Kyle Kuzma when we had him. We think he's an important piece. We should have kept JaVale McGee because he does the exact same thing that Dwight Howard does, but better. We're missing a lot on this team. We're missing consistent shooters. We're missing a defensive presence. And we're missing another... Um, Go get it and score ISO scorer. We really only have two and a half. The reason I'm saying a half is just so I can show you guys. He is, he does it when he wants to. He does it when he wants to. He does it when he wants to. And I'm struggling for the rest. 
He does it when he can make a shot. He does it when he's playing. He does it when he gets, when he actually gets the ball. The fact that we have these players who can do it, but are super inconsistent, who are super hard to um, get to that point, who are causing issues with trying to jail, who is having issues with playing with this guy, adding more fuel to the fire to us really questioning if he really makes his teammates better. I mean, Kyle Kuzma left and now he's playing great. Julius Randle, he's playing great. Not, not so much last year, but he played well two years ago. Lonzo Ball, he's injured, but he's playing great. It's not rocket science if the stats show what's going on. Again, LeBron, arguably top three all time. But this team needs some needs some changes. I wish we had Rondo. I wish we had uh, Patrick Beverly. Because defensively, he'll get on the ground. And he will keep him in check. I think that's why Kyrie Irving could have kept him in check. Because Kyrie is crazy. LeBron, he has to be the peacekeeper. Because he has to deal with craziness. We don't have no one crazy on this team. Every team needs that crazy nigga, man. We don't have that. And that's really all I got to say for now. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Um, part two dropping later. Peace.